Are you ready to unlock a world of digital content right from your living room couch? Connecting your smart TV to the internet is like opening a door to an entertainment universe from streaming blockbuster movies to catching up on your favorite series and much more. Today, I'll guide you through the simplest ways to set up your smart TV with Wi-Fi. We'll also tackle some common issues you might face along the way, ensuring you're never left disconnected from the digital world you love. To set up Wi-Fi on your smart TV, first locate the network settings. This is usually found under Settings. For most TVs, navigate to General and then Network, though some might list it directly under Network Settings. Select Open Network Settings or Set Up Connection, and then choose Wireless to start connecting to your Wi-Fi network. To connect your smart TV to Wi-Fi, start by accessing the Network Settings menu. For newer TV models, go to Settings, then General, and after that, Network. If you have an older model, you may find this directly under Network Settings. Select Wireless to view a list of available Wi-Fi networks. Choose your desired network. Enter the password carefully, ensuring it's correct since it's case sensitive, and then confirm by selecting Done. For different brands, the navigation might vary slightly. For instance, on Samsung TVs, you would navigate through Settings, then General, followed by Network, and finally, Open Network Settings. On Sony TVs, navigate from Home to Settings, and then to Network. Knowing the specific steps for your TV brand will help you connect smoothly and quickly. If your smart TV fails to connect to your Wi-Fi network, don't worry. Here are a few steps to help you diagnose and fix the issue. First, check the internet connection status on your TV. This can usually be found in the Network Settings menu under Network Status. This will tell you if your TV is receiving any signal at all. Next, ensure your router is on and functioning correctly. It should be positioned centrally in your home to avoid weak signals in distant rooms. Avoid placing it near devices that could interfere with the signal, like microwaves or cordless phones. If your TV is far from the router and you experience weak signals, consider using a Wi-Fi repeater. A repeater can boost the signal strength, ensuring stable connectivity even at greater distances. Simply place the repeater halfway between your router and your TV to enhance your network's reach. Additionally, if you're still experiencing connectivity issues, you might want to try changing the DNS settings on your TV. Sometimes, the default DNS servers provided by your ISP may not perform optimally. To change this, navigate back to the network settings, select network status, and then choose IP settings. From there, you can set the DNS manually. Enter a public DNS, such as Google's DNS 1 to 8.8.8.8 and DNS 2 to 8.8.4.4 to potentially increase the speed and reliability of your connection. For a more stable connection, you might opt for an Ethernet cable. Simply connect one end to your router and the other to your TV's Ethernet port. Then set your TV to a wired connection via network settings. This method is ideal for uninterrupted streaming, especially in high definition. Alternatively, a power line adapter can extend your internet connectivity through your home's electrical wiring. Just connect one adapter to a socket near your router and another near your TV, both linked by ethernet cables. Press the pair button on each adapter to establish a connection. This setup is perfect for areas with weak Wi-Fi signals providing a reliable and fast internet connection. That's all for today's video. I hope these instructions make it easier for you to connect your smart TV to Wi-Fi and troubleshoot any issues you might encounter. If you found this guide helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more useful tech tips. Also, if you have any questions or additional tips that have worked for you, please drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.